I think it's kind of chaotic, but I am really excited that Kamala is running. Um, I did get a little bit nervous when we had found out that Trump was going to be running again, but um, when they had kind of did that switcheroo and had Kamala come in, it kind of gave a lot more hope for what was coming. I feel like for most of the stuff that I hear or see on as far as her ads that she's putting out, it's mostly more similar, not identical, but more similar to when Obama was running where he did not slander his opponent. He just continued to talk about what they're, what he was doing. And I feel like that's what Kamala is doing for the most part, because I have seen some other stuff out there, but for the most part, I feel like Kamala is going on the approach of, let me just tell you what I've done and what I plan on doing versus Trump. He's on the slander. That's it. That's all. He, he's not talking about what his plans are. He's just slandering at this point, which I don't like that. And I really wish that it would be more about what is, what are your plans as uh, a president versus what are you just want to trash talk to the next person? Because we can always say something bad about somebody. I feel good about it. I hope that it's going to be kind of lying whilst. So uh, I'm not voting for the bully. <laughs> Oh, I seat. like the message that she's for the people, um, which is the middle class, which I am middle class, and the laws about women's rights. I like that also. I'm feeling good with her. I think she's she's running good. I think she's it's gonna be a hopefully not a tie, <laughs> but I think it's gonna be close race. Yes. It's kind of everybody just kind of say what you want to hear. So it's to me it's just really hard because it's it's what they really do when they're elected. I'm glad that it's a female. <laughs> you know, I hope this time uh, we have better luck. Um, as far as uh, the other candidate, um, in the past he has done real good stuff. I don't like how he talks about women. Um, and that's the only reason why probably I would not vote for him. But I think she's doing really well and she seems to have a lot of momentum. And I, I've donated to the campaign and it sounds like she's doing really good with her fundraising. So yeah, things look good. On the Republican side, it's a little more negative. It's more making it more personal and just like the attacks seem to be a negative thing. I don't think that's a, a good course for them. Um, I think Kamala Harris and her VP pick are, are much more hopeful and positive for everybody. So I'm looking forward to November. I think there's a lot of work to be done. I wouldn't take anything for granted, but I'm feeling optimistic. Better than I have in a while. <laughs> it was a little depressing for a while yeah. there, but uh, I'm getting very excited now. It seems, I don't know, I'm hopeful. <laughs> it just feels very positive, um, which is, I mean, just obviously completely the opposite of, of Trump's campaign, just in general. It's so negative. It's, it's nice to hear such a positive, hopeful message, I think. It's nerve-wracking. I mean, it's it's scary to think about at this point, but I'm I'm feeling more hopeful than I have in a long time. So it's it's really exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. Both of them are fantastic candidates. I'm excited for Kamala. She's going to be amazing as our president and our vice president, Mr. Wall, is going to be fantastic too. So we're just over the moon. The Trump doesn't have a message. All he does is talk about himself. The Harris actually wants to do something for our country, and I'm excited about them wanting to do something for the people of this country. Whereas the other people, they get nothing done. They sit and they just whine, or Trump just talks about himself. I'd rather listen to someone that's actually gonna do something for this country. Oh, absolutely, Harris side's more positive. We're not derogatory. We don't put people down. You know, you can agree to disagree. Both sides agree to disagree, shake hands, and just be nice either way. There's no reason for hate.
absolutely, absolutely she can take this state. Biden took the state, so Harris absolutely can take the state too.